mountains. Verse 2, The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Everybody say, the gates of Zion. The gates of Zion. And verse 5, And of Zion it shall be said, This and that man was born in her, and the highest and, and the highest himself shall establish her. Verse 6. The Lord, the Lord shall come. Everybody shout, the Lord shall come. The Lord shall come. Kala nyo kayo lang ang marunong magbilang. The Lord shall come. When he writeth up the people. That this man was born there. Sila. Praise God. I will bring to you a subject. This afternoon, praise God, hallelujah, uh, entitled, The Gates of Zion. Praise God. The Gates of Zion. Shall we bow down our head? And I request everybody, even our guests and visitors, to pray a special prayer. Because at this time, praise God, uh, it's dangerous to sleep. And the enemy wants you to sleep. So let us be attentive and let us open our heart that while I preach, you will not be sleeping. Praise God. And then we can understand and we can grasp the word, praise God, that gives life and breath to our soul. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I don't know your need. I don't know your struggle. I don't know what sin you are fighting. Praise God. I don't know the trouble inside your mind and heart. But I believe the word of the Lord is powerful. And I will bring you all to the gates of Zion. Let's be the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hello, subject. Okay. Praise God. So, mga kapatid, tayo po ay uh, manalangin sa Panginoon at tawagin natin ang pangalan niya ng buong puso. Praise God. Lord Jesus, kailangan ka namin, Panginoon. Una-una kami po ay nagpapasalamat. We thank you, Lord, of all the blessings that you have given to us. The apostolic truth that we receive and the word and your spirit, God, your presence that is with us this afternoon. Lord, dingin mo ang lahat ng prayer ng bawat individual ngayon. Kailangan namin, Panginoon, ang warrior angels, Panginoon, sa oras na ito the warring angels to fight against the wiles of the devil and the spiritual attack of the enemy. Lord, we want, hallelujah, to stand in your gate. We want to be, Lord, in your presence. While I preach thy word, God, let there be understanding. Hallelujah. Wisdom be given to your people. That by the power of the Holy Ghost, as you enable us to apply these principles in our life, we will go home victorious this afternoon. Yes, Let there be healing and salvation of God. Yes, Hallelujah. From sin. Hallelujah. Yes, Let there be strongholds this afternoon will be broken and will be crushed in the name of Jesus. Yes, sin will be defeated this afternoon yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We need you, Lord. We need your covering. Yes, and I declare, Hallelujah, the works of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Hallelujah. Will manifest. Let your power will manifest in our gates, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, those who were not able to receive yet the Holy Ghost, God, this afternoon, we will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Everybody shout amen. amen. Everybody shout praise the Lord. Thank you. 
Praise God and may the Lord will bless us all. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. The gate of Zion. If you look at it in the book of Psalms, praise God, verse in this, uh, chapter 87, verse 1, it says that the foundation of the Lord, the foundation is in the holy mountains. Amen. Now in Israel, during the time of Moses, there are mountains that were considered holy. See, for example, Mount Sinai is a holy mountain. Mount Horeb is a holy mountain. Praise God. And because of that, there are, and there were so many people who claim that their own mountains are holy. There is one in the bow. They said that that mountain is holy. There is one in Luzon. They said that uh, that mountain is holy. There is one in Japan. That they said that mountain is holy. And there is a mystic power on that mountain. But I will tell you church. In the Bible. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Uh, the, the word of God tells us. By the psalmist David. That the city of Jerusalem is a city on the top of a hill. In the top of the mountain. And it is a holy mountain. Amen. And let us study this afternoon through the scriptures. Why did, hallelujah, the psalmist wrote this? By the, inspir I know, that's by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And there is a big lesson here. Praise God. There is a truth, praise God, in this song. And in verse 2... The Bible said that the Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. What do you mean by Jacob? Israel. Israel, the Holy Land is a very nice place. There, during the time of the Bible lands, praise God, during the times of these writings, there were so many cities that are so very beautiful. So many castles and towers and synagogues, places that places that hallelujah you can, you can say, Wow, what a nice place. But God said, I only love the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Israel. Amen. Of all the cities of Israel, of all the places, hallelujah, and buildings they built in them, like palaces God said I only love the gates of Zion more than all the cities and the nice place that Israel lived Hallelujah. when we talk about gates praise God of Zion I'm talking about praise God a gate not just an ordinary door when I'm going to say gates in biblical context, it is a big complex. It is not a, just a door, a small door that, hallelujah, a chariot or soldiers can just pass by. But it is a very, praise God, big complex. A podium, praise God, hallelujah. And the, the Bible said, when the Bible said gates, hallelujah, of the city, wherein there is a big plaza, there is a big place, praise God, of a theater. And when the king will sit at the gate, people can see him. Judges will do their judgment at the gate. Praise God. A market, praise God, is in the gate. So, in a simple city, this is a boulevard. This is the center of a city. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, don't be confused when I say gate. Praise God. It talks about the very center of the city. Praise God. Center of activity. Amen. Everybody shall praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. But the word gates also is a word that is, if I'm going to use it as an illustration, in illustrative form, gates, hallelujah, represents of Christ. Yes. I'm going to read John chapter 10, verse 9. Here, Jesus or our Lord Jesus Christ is the door 
the gate. But using that word gate about Christ is an illustrative form. Okay? It's, it's not a literal form. Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. So how important is that door? How important is that gate? That anybody that will enter through that door, he or she will be saved. And what he can find inside that gate, the Bible said, he shall go in and out and find pasture. Now that is an illustrative form if we use the word gates referring to Jesus Christ. Everybody shout amen. amen. In the book of Genesis 28 verse 12 to 17, the word gate here refers to heaven or the access of God. Amen. Can you read it with me while you are taking notes of the references? And he dreamed, this is Jacob, and behold a ladder set up on the earth. And the top of it reached heaven. Now this is a dream. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. So the ladder is so uh, full of traffic. And the traffic of that ladder is not buses and trains. But angels, they are going up and going down. So that the ladder is so big, sister, and so tall that it reached at the top of heaven. And when Jacob saw the top of the ladder, God was at the very top, at the end of the ladder. Yeah. Verse 13, the Bible said, here we go. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father. And the Lord God of Isaac, the land where on the liest today will I give it unto thy seed. Amen. Now I want to share to you the setting of the story. Jacob was running for his life because Esau wants to kill him because he stole the octopus. No, he stole his birthright. Everybody shout praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. From time to time, he is singing ko kayo, okay, ma'am? <laughs> Jacob ran for his life. Right. Amen. Because he stole the blessing of Esau's birthright. Yes. But if you are going to study the situation, it was Esau's fault. Yes. Because he sold his birthright yes. with a bowl of kongji. Yes. Yes. Everybody shout amen. Amen. And Esau said, when our dad will die, not because of COVID, I will kill you. That's what Esau said to Jacob. And Rebekah heard. And Rebekah was so sad. Oh, I don't want that one day I will lose two person in my life. Yes. Amen. So he told Jacob, Jacob, run to Badan Aram. Badan Aram is Syria. Run there. To my brother's house, Laban. And there you can find a wife for you. Don't marry Canaanites women. They are unbelievers. You need to marry that is a member of our kindred. So to make the long story short, Jacob ran from his house going to Padanaram. But in the midst of his journey, brother Jim, he felt so tired for whole day walking bringing the dog no bringing the habang naghihila ng aso hindi habang naghihila sa kanyang camel hindi ba hindi siya sumakay pastor kasi marami siyang karkada so he was so tired in that journey so he decided to sleep and he sense he had no idea what What's the place? He don't know what place is this because he has no map. This was the first time that he is going to travel on the road. First time. Remember when you first time arrived in the house of your employer? There are things that until now you cannot forget. First time. 
First time to receive a passport? How many times you check it? First time. First time you ride an airplane? Everything we come to a first time, praise God situation, it's memorable. Yes, guys. Di ba, Sister Pink, nung first time mo nakaboyfriend kasi ako yung first time, di ba, memorable yun. Kasi Sister Pink, mga kapatid, nung nakaboyfriend siya, ako lang talaga. Diretso na. Kaya, I'm blessed. Pero pagtanungin niya ako, mga kapatid, ikaw, ilan ang girlfriend mo? Sabi ko, one at a time, pero parang umabot ata ng lima or pito. Hahaha. High school, meron. Pagdating sa college, ay yung mga papilag, ganun mga kapatid. Pagdating sa Bible school, meron. Pag-work mga kapatid sa station, meron. So, one at a time. Sabi ni Sir Pink, ang daya mo. Marami ka ng experience, ako wala. Sabi ko sa kanya, walang problema. Lahat ng experience ko, ibigay ko sa iyo. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pagpag-ibig, mga kapatid, revival kayo kagano. Nahirapan ako, mga kapatid, eh. Praise God. So, let's go back to the topic. Or else, praise God, my time will consume just praise God of the talking about that. So, Jacob felt tired and he decided to sleep that night on the place where in he don't know what's the this place, I don't know. If there are bad people here, if there are gang, if there are bandits, he has no idea. So, he slept that night. And he had no pillow, so he get a stone. In your employer's house, does, does your employer give you a pillow? Yes. Or you just sleep on your back bag? <laughs> and your pillow is in your feet. Baliktad, mga mga. So when Jacob was so asleep that night, we know the rest of the story, but for the sake of our guests and visitors this afternoon, he dreamed a dream. And this is the verses that we are reading. And God was talking to him in that dream. He said, I am God of Abraham, your father. The God of your eyes, uh, of Isaac. Isaac was his father. Abraham was his grandfather. And God said, The land where you are now lying, I will give it to you. Amen. And I will give it to your seed. In other words, for his children and children's children. Yes. What's next is the dream. Here we go. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. Now, can you count a dust? I can count a dust. If it's only one, praise God. <laughs> and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, to the east, to the north, and to the south. And God told Jacob, in thee, very specific, huh? sayu laman, in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be Raise your hand if you have a family. Wow. Really? You have a family? God told Jacob, all the families of the earth will be blessed because of you. Israel, if we believe the God of Israel, if we serve the God of Israel, hallelujah, your family will be blessed. And it is God who promised him. Next verse. That was his dream. God was talking to him. Hallelujah. And God 
promised him. Jacob, behold, look, I am with thee.
Okay. 
there is no problem that can defeat your fear. There is the trial and the people testing right sister in the family, in relationship, in financial that can defeat your faith. Because Jesus, this is the portal of heaven. This is the gate of heaven. You may not take your seats. Hallelujah. Isaiah 38, 10. There's another gate that used in an illustrative form. Praise God. The gate of death. Is what we call the grave. And no one's to go on that gate. Saya said, I said in the cutting of my days, I shall go to the gates of the grave. I am deprived of the residue of my years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there's another form, illustrative word for the word gate. The grave is the gate of death. Amen. Or should I say death? Hallelujah is the gate of the grave. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 7 verse 14, Jesus explains about another gate that he explains said is a straight gate that leads to eternal life. Yes. Amen. Look at the screen and I want you to read this. Because straight is the gate. The word straight is makite, makipo, maliit. Narrow. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto light. Few there be that find it. Amen. Only few are walking on the gate. Only few. Because they said, it's too much, Pastor Plaza. So strict. Holiness. I don't like. But that gate will result into light, praise God, and only few, I said only few, Amen. walk there. Amen. But there's another gate that Jesus explained in the previous verse, and this is the wide gate. Hallelujah. Come on, next verse. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way. That lead it to destruction. Yes. And many there be which go thereon. Why there are so many people choose the white gate? Because in the white gate, no one will rebuke.